Welcome back to the Devapala campaign. Mission 3 is about to kick off. How many heroes have fallen to the Mighty Viper already? We have lost zero heroes over the last two campaigns. To be fair, there have been zero heroes involved. That's not the point. Anyway, renunciation. Let's see what we are going to reject. Indeed. Let's jump in. To destroy what is around us is to destroy ourselves. To cheat another is to cheat ourselves, said the Buddha. He's the speaking homeless. so softly. Predatory horse lords of the northern plains were a living mockery of these words. Long had they lain dormant, drunk on wealth and decadence. But the chilling memories of their wretched work of village cities and plundered crops, of burnt monasteries and butchered monks, were as vivid in our minds as the sheen of the morning sun on the snowy ground of distant mountains. Equally dreadful were the rumors that these Hunas, who watched with glee as their neighbors whittled each other down, had begun to stir once more. Hunas is Hans? Pratiharas and Rashakutas may have been long-time enemies of Devapala's family, but unchecked, the Hunas posed an even greater threat. Renunciation of desire will bring an end to one's dissatisfaction. That is the third noble truth. Mm -hmm. So Devapala renounced his struggle with his okay. forefathers' rivals and marched his forces north into the demon's lair to crush the foul Hunas forever. So you have dissatisfaction, you have desire, and then you have renunciation of your desire. These noble truths are complicated, man. All right, eliminate all three Hunna Khans. All right, we have the Huns indeed. Devapala can reach the Imperial Age, but it's restricted to a population limit of 150. Approach this mission like a regicide match. To win, you may need only eliminate the three Huna counts. They're just introducing all the game modes in this campaign. That's pretty neat. We had the King of the Hill, the previous one, and now we have regicide. Yeah, that's cool. There's a clever way of introducing game modes to uh, to players. The Hunas are depraved, but not beyond redemption. Perhaps by converting rather than killing their cons, you can sway their followers to your side. Converting them. Let's see what they ask for. Uh, a few well-guarded trebuchets can easily foil an enemy relic victory. Is there relic victory as well here? Uh, Pratihara. Forces still occupy the south, but are withered and battered from their conflict over Kanuj. Pillage their lands at will, but do not commit too much energy to them. Belpala and his forces have arrived from the east on the periphery of Una territory. Multan lies in the center of the map and is the major city in this region. It is not your main target, but its foot soldiers may be necessary to deal with while attacking the Hunas. The Pratiharas occupy the south with a piti pitiable force of cavalry, archer, uh, cavalry and foot archers. They pose no significant threat, but their stockpiles could be pillaged to bolster Pala war effort. The Hunas are your most dangerous adversary, operating out of three camps spread about the map. Their forces of swift cavalry and skirmishers will not wait long before striking out against any invader. All right. Yes, we will. Perhaps our monks can sway their cons from their insidious part. So we have a secondary mission of con like converting the monks instead, uh, the, the Huns and uh, the Khans. Obviously, I cannot resist to try that. So that is uh, what's going to happen. Hope well, hopefully, presumably. All those are rams. I can't really tell the difference between the rams and the. Uh, regular elephants. Solid start. Mm -hmm. 
small victory does not win a wish. Need I remind of the relics that our ancestors looted from yours? No, you do not. Oh, I'm playing on fast speed. Oops. Sorry. Trickled from the previous mission. Okay, we are floating a lot of woods. We can probably already do it like that. Let's see, maybe we can find some relics if we move out on the map a little bit. We'll use a Ratha to be a bit of an activum. Is that a word? Activum? We're going to be active on the maps to try and raid and pillage and see what we get. Where was uh, Prahita Taheras again? The south. Okay. I always get baited by the minimap. When I see the, the white, I think it's a relic. Here we have just a, a bridge. We can also go and parallelage this game. That's worth to keep in mind. These campaigns are actually... You're not going to utilize the Civ bonuses of Bengalis. Only upon going to Imperial Age will we get those extra villagers. Our wounds from the battle over Kanoj are still fresh, Devabala. But we sense a greater threat to the north. Will you let the enemy of your enemy become your friend? For however short a time. Let us destroy the Pratiharas, cousin. Those scum will jump at the first chance to betray us. Emperor, while you may desire vengeance, remember that renunciation is one of the four noble truths. The Hunas are our true enemy. Tribute the Pratiharas a thousand gold or pillage their town centers. I don't want to pillage their town centers. But I also understand that renunciation is part of the four noble truths. So, um, thousand gold. Damn, that's, they're asking for a lot. I'm not sure if we can. They have, oh, it's terrors. Ew. I guess this con is easy to take. It's not protected by castles or anything. But the two others have castles protecting them as well. So it's not as simple. A thousand gold and then two thousand gold. All oh, the flashbacks. Horror. Yeah, well, we're gonna do it. Keep in mind, we're gonna follow the noble truths. And the renunciation, a very important part of our search for the truth. Probably spawn gold. Maybe it if it to make Ratha against skirmishers, because Ratha have the cavalry archer class, which means that skirmishers have bonus damage. Even when you're melee mode. And it feels weird that a melee unit just can get and die to skirmishers. But hey ho, it is what it is. Okay, um, we need to send a monka. We need to convert that boy. Did I pull off Indian accent? I wasn't actually trying for an Indian accent. It would surprise me. But in hindsight, Trying for an Indian accent would have made sense. Okay. Maybe I can just dive in. As long as these guys go and tank. The arrow fire from the town centers. Uh, from the towers. Then I think I may be able to just dive in and convert with my monks. He does have range. 500 HP. And to be fair, if I get him into my army, suddenly we have a hero that could backfire. <laughs> let's go, let's go. 
I wonder, I might not even have to destroy these buildings if I convert him. Yeah, he's not moving actually. Oh yeah. have swayed this town from the unrighteous path. Now he and his followers will do battle with our enemies. Well, I didn't get to control him myself. This is impossible. Why is it impossible? All right, am I ready for this? It would seem that we are allies. For now. Why does he add the for now? I said I'm already not suspicious enough about his behavior. <laughs> for now. Our allies. For now. That doesn't seem like very clever war tactics to me. Libet sus. Okay. Um guess we go up here. I mean this one seems easier to take. It has less protection. Let's try here. Here I would probably want to send some villagers with them. Probably also would like to take some stone. We might want to build some forward castles here at some point. I will help you, allied Hunas. Don't you worry. He just wants to sound badass. He did pull it off. Up to Imperial Age we go. 150 pop. Ugh. Oh, Multan. Oh, true. Oh, I forgot about that. There's a city in the middle. We don't really have to worry about it. Presumably. It's in Peril Age upgrades as well. Don't like it. Did I just trigger them to like constantly attack me now? That was not my intent. I'm a peaceful man. Yeah, I'm humble viper. Considering how thick this elephant is. Look, reformed by our teachings, your new Huna allies take the field against their despicable brethren. Where? <laughs> this? Was I just introduced to their how they're attacking their despicable enemies with six Hold units? Chase down these Huna swine. Well, that's ally. So that that's some that I'm fine with. One Shivam Shavider. How can they have these decent army? I'll allow it, I'll allow it. Massive army indeed. Guess we should make some more villagers. We got this upgrade. Question do I want to make trebuchets or elephant rams? I think elephant rams. Mutan foolishly supplies our wounded adversities. We should make an example out of it. Now we're talking. This just got interesting. I mean, if I can break through here and convert him, I don't have to worry about taking out buildings. Yeah, why am I even bothering with siege? I don't even have to. You know what? I think you can even cheese this. Like speedrunners will find <gasps> victory. Okay, we need siege. Just a prank, bro. Just a prank. That was an amazing attack, my Huna allies. 
See, this is where I think I can rush in and just convert the calm. It's even open on the bottom, dude. <laughs> we got a massive gaping hole. I wanted to see if I could uh, upgrade the range upgrade for my monks. Yeah, you can cheese this. Have swayed this guy from the unrighteous path. Now he and his followers will do battle with our enemies. What happened? I heard a, a noise. Yeah, you can even do the range upgrade. That's sick. Wait, wait, wait. I feel tempted to try to see. I, I just want to see if you can do this. I don't actually want to do it. Let's do a castle there. And do some trebuchet. Ooh. Question is that a problem? Don't think so. Mixing a few defensive battle elephants. And we should be fine against that. Where did those villagers go? Okay, there they are. Wait, is that, is that a joke? Can you actually go there? Oh, not like this. That for real? Like, this is an imitation. Hey, go and dock there. They want us to do this. Wait, what? What is this? This is just way too easy. Let me see. Uh, this is secondary objective. I want to defeat Molten first. But you can cheat. Like, this is intended to be cheesed. Yeah, that's wild. They want you to cheese it. Yes, it's fine. Not a scary army. Lacking some upgrades as well. Hindustan is our scary civilization. This is not the scary army. Scouting is crucial. Yeah, I mean, he's plays very peculiarly along the next to the water, right? So it wasn't it's not too shocking that they were encouraging this. Fighting tactics. Important upgrade. It almost seems like that put that put in that for people who have trouble with the relic timer or something. Maybe, maybe. Or it's just like a rewarding scouting right because they did place the whatever you want to call that and i was saying this word for that i don't know but they did place this here there as an, a hint so i, I respect that relic timer is it's also going pretty slow the relic timer here. You have a lot of time to actually deal with it. Let's just take the gate first. I mean, we could, they will always run out with units, so I can always just wait for them to open it. Uh, unless I kill all the units, of course. Oh! <laughs> Convert. Okay, now this is time. This is time. Oh, don't go there. Well, never mind then. Here, wharf. Yeah, pier. Pier. Yeah, I'm 
goddess would you claim to oppose? I'm no better, but that's because I'm humble. I wouldn't say that. Humble Viper, you know. Yeah, a pretty s cool city. Bridges connecting, towers, walls, castles. I like. They never did not survive the destruction that your armies have reaped. <gasps> Poor Omen. Oh no. That's not good. That's not good at all. This is where I wish I w went armored elephants. Because they uh, would take out buildings in a city way faster than Rebuchets will. Let's go melee mode. Just wreck havoc. That probably also makes sense. Okay, we have all the upgrades. Did I do the Mahayana? I did. You should make a smurf called Humble Viper where you offer people a thousand gold. <laughs> Too bad you cannot do that in uh, ranked games. Could have been funny. Yeah, I think uh, Mole Town here is not gonna last very long. By the looks of it. Especially now that we got. Siege elephants involved as well. You are not the only ones to refine your weapons and reform your armies. Prepare to be ridden down like grass. Multan stockpiles are ours. Let the world know the fate of those who would defy the palace. Solid. Uh, it was a very scary speech by uh, Mr. Uh, Hunas guy here. Like, are, these feel like they're bugged. It feels like they want to go and attack me. But they keep patrolling and bugging into this area. I don't know. <gasps> Synchronized attack! That's the diversion! Pratiharas are useful! Wait, I did the range upgrade. Ah, oh, yeah, but I got a, another monk. Now he and his followers will do battle with our enemies. We have subdued the nefarious Hunas. Never again will they threaten our lands or our faith. Never again. I got an uh, achievement unlocked called Hunas Join Me. Alright. Evil must exist so that good can prove its purity, said the Buddha. The Pala army shone like the brightest of lights as it plunged into lands darkened by the Hunas' corrupt and wicked ways. No obstacle was too great for it, no foe too fierce. Some Hunas saw the error of their ways and pledged themselves to our monk's teachings. Those who did not were struck down or vanished into the shadows. As Devapala strolled through the ranks of his cheering warriors, I was elated by our victory. Yet something in the Emperor's gaze stirred a feeling of dread within me. The would-be Bodhisattva was now being hailed as a great conqueror above all, and I feared that this change had taken root even in the Emperor's mind. Speak so soft. I am a monk. Alright, good stuff. Oh! I guess there wasn't much to see on the map anyway, to be fair. Anyway, that was a uh, renunciation. We completed the mission with full satisfaction, which was my desire. And next up, we're gonna go and liberate ourselves. So uh, thank you for watching and I will see you 
for the next one.